नमस्कार माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इन द क्विक रिव्यू सेक्शन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द टॉपिक ऑफ रिलाइनिंग एंड रीपेसिंग ऑफ कंप्लीट डेंजर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैड रिक्वेस्टेड फॉर दिस टॉपिक यू नो दिस टॉपिक कम्स एज अ शॉर्ट नोट इन द थियोरी एग्जाम इट इज ऑफन आस्ट इन द ग्रैंड फाइवर एंड मेनी एम सी क्यूज आर फ्रेम फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग स्टेप बाय स्टेप द क्लिनिकल एज वेल एज द लेबोरेटरी प्रोसीजर ऑफ रिलाइनिंग एंड रीबेसिंग so stay tuned till end first of all what is relining you know after a few years when the ridge resorption takes place or in case of the immediate danger patient complains of the loose dentures okay so the procedure used to resurface the tissue site of the denture with a new base material that produces an accurate adaptation of the denture foundation area this procedure is called as relining the second is the rebasing you know rebasing is the laboratory procedure or the process of replacing the entire denture base material on an existing prosthesis now in the relining we were just resurfacing the tissue side but in rebasing we will be replacing the entire denture base next comes the indications where we will reline or rebase the denture now first of all the immediate danger in immediate dangers at 3 to 6 months after their construction the tissue modification takes place and the dentures become loose they need to be relined second is the poor adaptation when the residual alveolar ridge has resolved and the adaptation of the denture bases to the ridges is poor then we go for relining now the geriatric or the chronically ill patient you know when the construction of new dentures with a series of appointments it can cause physical or mental stress to the patient and we cannot construct new dentures last but very important when the patient cannot afford the cost of having the new dentures then also we have to opt for relining contraindications you know the conditions the situations where we will have to fabricate new dentures we cannot go for the relining the first is the unsatisfactory jaw relation when the occlusal vertical dimension is not satisfactory or when the uh, complete denture occlusion it does not coincide with the centric relation okay then we will have to go for the new dentures second is the poor aesthetics when the size shape shade or the arrangement of the artificial teeth is not acceptable is not satisfactory third is the abused soft tissue the oral tissue has to be in optimum health for relining or the relining has to be delayed until the tissues they recover next comes the excessive amount of resorption if it has taken place then also we will go for the fabrication of new denture last but very important the dentures with a major speech problem phonetics okay that cannot be altered with relining so we will have to fabricate new dentures in these cases now let us discuss the step by step procedure of doing the relining and the rebasing four steps are involved okay in the relining and the rebasing first is the tissue preparation second is the denture preparation the existing denture needs to be modified third is the impression making that is the clinical procedure and last is the laboratory procedure to get the modified denture first step is the tissue preparation okay first in the tissue preparation the hypertrophic tissue needs to be identified and it should be surgically removed okay the dentures can be used as a surgical splint also in these cases second the oral mucosa it should be free of any area of irritation you know that has to be ruled out and that has to be recovered before we go for the final impression third patient should be asked that denture should be left out of the mouth for at least 2 to 3 days before we make the final impression last and very important you you can ask the patient to do the daily massage of the soft tissues this is helpful to stimulate the blood supply 
Step number two is the danger preparation. Okay, in this first, uh, the pressure areas on the tissue surface of the danger needs to be identified. We can use pressure indicating paste for it and these need to be relieved. Second is the minor occlusal disharmonies that has to be corrected by the selective grinding. Okay. Third is the border area. If the border area there is any inadequacy or short, then it should be extended and corrected with the help of the green stick compound. Last and very important is the posterior palatal seal area. Adequate and correct posterior palatal seal area should be established before we go for the final impression. Step number three, that is the clinical step, impression making for the relining. Okay, in this we have three techniques. First is the static impression technique. Second is the functional impression technique. And third is the chair side technique. In the static impression technique, we further have two options. First is the open mouth impression technique. And second is the closed mouth impression technique. Let us discuss them one by one. First is the closed mouth impression technique that is the static impression technique. It is the most common impression or the clinical technique for relining of complete denture in our clinics. For this, the first step is the denture preparation. All large undercuts of the denture are to be relieved. Second, on the tissue surface, the acrylic resin needs to be relieved by 1 to 2 millimeter. The escape holes, they are drilled, especially for the maxillary denture bases. Second comes the border molding. The borders are to be reformed by the low fusing green stick compound. The posterior palatal seal is achieved with a low fusing compound. Third, coming to the final impression, if we talk about the materials, we can use zinc oxide eugenol impression paste. We can go for light body silicones or we can go for the mouth temperature waxes. While making the impression, patient is asked to close in the existing centric occlusion and the intercuspation. You know, this existing CRO is used to stabilize the denture. Or we can also go for the wax interocclusal record, which is made at CR for the reference. Second is the open mouth impression technique. This is less commonly used. This is just like a normal impression technique that we make in the complete denture. In this, the dentures, they are used as the special trays for making the new impressions. Okay, the existing centric occlusion is not used and a new centric relation occlusion record is obtained after the impressions are made. Okay, if we compare it with the closed mouth uh, impression technique, the closed mouth reline technique is preferred when the static impression method is used. After the static, next is the functional impression technique. This technique was suggested by Winkler. The material used for functional impression technique are the tissue conditioners or the treatment liners. They come in the powder and the liquid form. The powder and the liquid, they are mixed and they are applied on the tissue side of the danger. Before going for the impression, the patient's mandible is guided into centric relation to stabilize the danger. There are three physical stages of the tissue conditioners. Okay, that will allow us to use them with different objectives. First is the plastic stage. When the danger base, it responds to the functional and the parafunctional stresses. So the fit is improved. Okay, the tissue conditioner, when they are applied onto the danger, they are in the plastic stage and it lasts for few hours to few days. Second is the elastic stage. In this, the stress is cushioned and the tissue recovery takes place. It lasts for one to two weeks. Third is the firm stage. Okay, when the surface is similar to the polymerized resin surface. Okay, and it will last for 15 days. This is the firm stage when our reline impression is ready. After we have achieved the firm stage, the wash impression with zinc oxide eugenol impression paste or light body material is made. Then the stone cast is poured immediately. New centric relation occlusal record should be considered if necessary. 
The last is the chair side reliant technique. It makes use of the acrylic resin, the self-cure acrylic resin or any other plastic material that could be added to the denture directly and allowed to sit in the mouth. Okay, this is not at all a recommended technique. This, the limitations of this technique is that first it can produce a chemical burn on the mucosa due to the monomer present in the acrylic. Second, the material it remains porous and it develops a bad odor. Third, there is poor color stability of the material. And last, it is inaccurate. Once we have made the impression, now we will proceed to the lab procedure. You know, the process of replacing the impression material with the acrylic resin is same either for the static or the functional impression. And if we compare the relining versus the rebasing, the difference between the two is in just the amount of the old denture base that needs to be removed and replaced. For rebasing, the entire denture base is eliminated except for the teeth and maybe just 2 mm adjoining the denture base especially when the acrylic teeth are present. The different methods that can be used to replace the impression material with the acrylic resin are first is the articulator method, second is the jig method and third is the flask method. So let us discuss them one by one. Now first is the articulator method. What is that? The impression is not separated and the master cast is poured. The first step. Second, a layer of plaster is added on the lower member and the denture is settled in the stone mix. The teeth will penetrate into that stone mix for about 2 mm. Okay, and the occlusal plane should be parallel to the floor. Third, the cast is then attached or mounted to the upper member. Then all the impression material is removed. Okay, the denture trimming is done. Now, at this point, we will elect whether we are going for rebasing or relining. Okay, so this will differ in the amount of the trimming that we are doing for the danger. After this, the separating media will be applied, like let it be colmol seal or tin foil. Then we will plan that whether we are going for the relining with autopolymerizing resin or heat cure resin. If autopolymerizing resin, then the cold cure resin is packed in the articulator. It is allowed to sit in the pressure container at 15 to 20 psi for 30 minutes. And for the heat cure resin, the denture will be waxed up. Okay, it will be removed, it will be flasked, and then it will be processed. Once we have got the denture, we will do the finishing and polishing. Second is the zig method. You know what is a zig? Zig is a device which is used to uh, maintain the mechanical positional relationship between a piece of work and a tool or we can say the position between the components during the assembly or the alteration just like an articulator. Okay, it is just an alternative to the articulator. That's it. So the procedure, the lab procedure will just be similar uh, to that of an articulator or we can also alternatively use Ho Hooper's duplicator that is also a kind of zig only which can be used uh, similar to a zig. Third is the flask method for doing the lab procedure. In this first we will be doing the beading and boxing of the relined impression. The master cast is poured. Then what we will do the denture with the cast is embedded in a flask. Okay, the flask is warmed so that the green stick which is present in it becomes softened before we open the flask. Then the flask is opened and the impression material is removed. We can see that the two parts of the flask, one contains the master cast embedded in it and second contains the relined impression with the denture. Okay, now after removing the impression material, the separating media will be applied. Then the heat cure resin, it is packed in the mold and it is processed. Once the processing is done, the danger will be finished and polished. 
with this we come to the end of this topic i'm sure now there are no more doubts regarding this topic please like and share the video and you can also give your topics that you want me to cover in the comment section i will try to cover them in the next videos wish you success today and always